Hello everyone, uh, today I want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have minus 3 to the power of x is equals to 3 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here we solve this problem for two methods and I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have uh, any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now uh, in both of these method we uh, use the logarithm but now in the first method we use the common logarithm and in the second method we use the natural logarithm. So uh, now here in first method uh, you see here uh, we have this is minus 3 times of x and we write uh, it as minus 1 multiplied by 3 and its whole power is x and this is equals to 3. And now here uh, we know about that uh, minus 1 is equals to iota square when we can convert uh, this into the complex form. So minus 1 equals to iota square and this is our 3 and its whole power x is equals to 3. So here you remember that iota square is equals to minus 1. And now here uh, in the next step uh, we need to apply here the common logarithm on both of the sides and you know about common logarithm a logarithm uh, whose base 10 is called the common logarithm and it is denoted by this sign and we have this is a uh, log and here we write this term as 3 times of iota square and its whole power x is equals to log of 3 and now here in the next step we need to use the nice properties of log and here uh, first we use this property of log if you have log of a to the power of m it is written as m times of log a and after that we can apply here this property of log uh, if you have uh, two numbers are multiplied inside the log then we will apply log separately on both of these values and we will add these two logs. So here first we need to apply uh, this power property in the left hand side so we move uh, this exponent x in the front of this log and it will be written as <coughs> x times of log 3 iota square is equals to in the right hand side we have this is log 3 and you see here we have uh, two numbers are multiplied inside the log so that we can apply the second property of log and according to this property of log we write it as x times of log 3 plus log of iota square and it is equals to log of 3 and because we solve this problem for the values of x uh, so that we need to divide both of the sides by log of 3 plus uh, log of iota square and here we can divide right side by log of 3 plus log of iota square and now further in the next step uh, we have this term is cancelled out by this term and in the left hand side we get our x is equals to in the right hand side we have log 3 is divided by log of 3 plus here we move this 2 in the front of this log and it will become 2 times of log iota. So this is the value of x uh, which we get here uh, from first method and now here we move forward and we again solve this problem for second method. And now uh, for a second method uh, we need to first uh, copy down the given question statement here and it is minus 3 to the power of x is equals to 3. And here uh, we need to use here uh, the, uh, the nice uh, Euler's identity and you very well know about that Euler's identity is written as if you have e to the power of iota pi it is equals to minus 1. So uh, we move forward uh, with the help of this identity and now uh, first we can uh, rewrite our this given uh, question statement as we write it as minus 1 multiplied by 3 and its whole power x is equals to 3 and now we replace this minus 1 equals to e to the power of iota pi so when you use this value here it will become 3 times of e to the power of iota pi and its whole power x is equals to 3. 
and now here in the next step uh, we need to apply the natural log on both of the sides so that when you can apply natural log it will be written as a log of three times of e to the power of iota pi and its whole power x is equals to log of three and now uh, here uh, we again uh, apply the above properties of log so for this uh, first we need to move the exponent x in the front of this log it will be written as x times of log 3 into e to the power of iota pi is equals to log of 3 and now we again apply uh, the nice property of uh, uh, second property of log and you see here uh, we have the product of two numbers inside the log so uh, it will be written as log of 3 plus uh, log of e to the power of iota pi and it is equals to log of 3 and uh, here uh, inside the term uh, we again apply the property of log here and we move iota pi in the front of this log and it will becomes iota pi times of log e is equals to log of 3 and here we, uh, we very well know about that uh, the value of log e is equals to 1 so it will becomes log of 3 into iota pi and this value is equals to 1 and this is equals to log of 3 and here uh, because we saw this problem for the values of x uh, so that's why we need to divide both of the sides by log of 3 plus iota pi so when you divide both of the side by this value it will be written as log 3 plus iota pi okay and now in the left hand side you see here this whole value is cancelled out by this value and you will get here in the left hand side is equals to x equals to log of 3 is divided by log of 3 plus iota pi so this is the value of x which we get here from second method uh, and i hope so you like both of these methods and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos